Hey, our friends today are going to draw Narwhal and Jelly. Yeah, this is our favorite book, isn't it? Yes. Well, it's your favorite book. It's so funny. But it's also my favorite book now, too. Because mm -hmm. you read it to me, and I love it. And Narwhal's super funny, but yeah. I think the Jelly is my favorite. <laughs> Before we do that, though, we want to feature one of our awesome art friends. She sent us a photo. Her mom sent us a photo. And check it out. What's her name? Liberty. Liberty, yeah. And she did such a great job on yeah. her little drawing. It looks like a ghost kitten. Mm -hmm. It's super cute. It's I so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I especially love the little ears and the whiskers. Mm -hmm. You think she's a good artist? Yes. We wanted to feature you, Liberty, because we think you're awesome and we love your drawing and we can't wait to see more of your art. Okay, Hallie, what do we need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Good job. All right, let's get started. Okay. Let's first start by drawing Narwhal's face. We're gonna draw his mouth. We're gonna draw a little smile right in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. That's okay. Yeah, we're, and we're using two sheets of paper because we're drawing with a marker, right? Yes. We wanna make sure that a marker doesn't soak through one sheet and get on our table. So now we're gonna draw the bottom of the Narwhal's mouth. We're gonna draw a big U that comes down and back up. And then we could draw the tongue inside, little curve. Now let's color in that top shape. Next, we can draw his eyes. Let's draw a little oval right here and also an oval on the right. Good job, Hadley. All right, now let's draw the top of his head. We're gonna start here, right next to his eye. And then we're gonna draw a curve that goes over the top and comes back down on the other side of his eye. Yeah, good. Now we're gonna draw his body and we're gonna draw a curve that starts on the left and it's gonna curve down, and watch this, at the very end, I'm gonna stop right underneath his mouth. Perfect. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the right side, and it's gonna come down to a point down here. So we're gonna start here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes in, and then curves back down to a point. <laughs> yeah, that's right, if it doesn't quite match, you can bring it down further until it, yeah, until it comes to a point. You did a great job, Hadley. Now, it's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice. Both our drawings look awesome, and I'm sure your drawings look really cool, too. Next, let's draw his little tail back here on the bottom. We're going to draw a little oval that comes down and back up. Yeah, and then we can draw another one right next to it. Now let's draw his fins, or his little flippers. We're gonna draw another oval that's right here, and it's gonna go up and then back down. And we can do, yeah, this, that was, that was <laughs> so tiny. it's so tiny, I like it. Now let's draw another flipper on the other side. We're gonna draw another oval, it comes up and back down. Mine's really teeny too. <laughs> That's what makes him so cute. Yeah. Now, what's he missing to make him a narwhal? His horn. Yeah, his horn. <laughs> we're going to draw a big horn. We're going to go up really high like this. <laughs> and then we're going to come back down right next to it. Oh, I like how tall your horn is. <laughs> and it's super thick. Great job. And we're going to add some lines going across his horn. I'm going to draw th three and then three more. How many is, does that make? Six. Six. Thirty-three. No. no. <laughs> One more. Good job. We did it. All right, Hadley, we finished Narwhal the Narwhal. He's missing his little buddy, though. Jelly the jellyfish. Jelly the jellyfish. Let's draw him. We're going to draw the same. We're going to use a lot of the same steps. So let's first draw a little smile right next to him. Then we're going to draw another U that goes underneath and back up. And we can also draw that tongue and color in the top shape. And if we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need more time, you can pause the video. Let's draw his eyes next. We're going to draw the same little ovals on each side of his mouth. Then we're going to repeat also that same U shape that we did for Narwhal, except this one's going to be a little bit bigger. We're going to start underneath his mouth, and we're gonna draw a big upside down U. It goes like this, and back down. <laughs> then, we're gonna, then we're gonna connect the bottom of the U. <laughs> he has a square head. Yeah, <laughs> he's a little flat on top. That's okay, <laughs> we're practicing. Okay, he has six 
little tentacles hanging down from his body. So we're going to draw a wiggly line. One, two, three. Right? And then we, how many more do we need to make six? Three more. Three more. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> that is the cutest little jelly. Okay, Hadley, he looks really surprised, and we could draw a couple lines above his head to make him look super happy. <laughs> we did it, Hadley! We finished drawing Narwhal and Jelly, and they look awesome, except they're gonna look even better once we do what? Color it! Yeah, we need to color them. Now this part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. Hadley, great job on your drawing. You did awesome. Now we just used two colors, right? Yeah. Gray for narwhal and? Blue for jelly. Blue for jelly. Now you gotta tell our art friends a little more about this book. Who, who's the author? Ben Clanton. Ben Clanton. And what's your favorite part in the book? When they're eating waffles. Are they eating waffles? Yeah. What, what page was it again? 20. 20? Oh, there it is. I, you showed this to me and I thought it was so funny too. <laughs> I love that they're eating waffles. We, we love waffles too, don't we? Mm -hmm. Now, we could redo this drawing all by yourself and add little waffles. That would make our drawing super funny. Yeah. If you haven't heard about these books, we'll leave a link in the description where you can head over to Amazon, learn more about them, and even purchase them. We really do love them. They're super funny. We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye -bye.